Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley. Thanks for joining me today. Today I am sharing a card featuring the Pink Fresh Studio Holiday Vibes 6x6 Pattern Paper Pad and this Pink Fresh Studio Happy Hug Stamp and Coordinating Die Set. And I think these two little bears wrapped up in that big old giant scarf are adorable. And later on, I'll be adding a little bit of pattern paper to this card to make it feel even more festive. Now, depending on the pattern papers that you choose and the color scheme that you choose, this could definitely be kind of an everyday card that you share during the winter time. But the pattern papers I'm using are decidedly holiday. So <laughs> this is going to be the holiday version of this card. So I started by stamping my bears in a Copic friendly black ink, and then I'm stamping the background in some Catherine Pooler Daydream ink. Now you can die cut these bears completely and inset them onto the background, but what I'm gonna do is take the coordinating die and I'm lining it up around those bears, and I'm gonna do a little partial die cutting. So I'm only going to cut the portion that is going to be sandwiched within my die cutting plate. So you can see I kind of secured it to my plate so it wouldn't move around. And only the part that's below those plates is going to cut. So you're gonna see as I pull this off after I run it through my die cut machine, only that lower portion around the scarf is what was die cut. So the bears are still intact on that background. Now I'm gonna take this over to my trimmer and I am lining up the background along that aluminum rail and I'm just trimming around it. Because I didn't stamp this straight onto my card stock here, I am just using my trimmer and kind of eyeballing it along that rail. I wasn't butting it up against the edge of my trimmer. Now for this lower portion where we did the partial die cutting, I'm gonna cut from each end right up to that die cut line and you're gonna see I'm left with this image and that partial die cutting around the scarves. Now for the pattern paper today, I'm using the new Pink Fresh Studio Holiday Vibes 6x6 pattern paper pad and I'm just kind of flipping you through this so you can see all the colors and patterns that are included in this pattern paper pack. And you can see I have the one set out already that has all those kind of labels and greetings on that. And I'm just going to take this to my trimmer and I'm trimming out this little portion here that looks kind of like a postage or mailing kind of label here. I just trimmed it down using my trimmer and then I did have to do a little cleanup work with my scissors because believe it or not, I am not perfect. <laughs> but no harm, no foul. And then I am going to take the Snuggle is Real sentiment and stamp that in some black ink onto that postage label. Now I've sped up the Copic coloring here because the Copic coloring is not really the focus of my video today. It's more about choosing the pattern papers. But I know that many of you are a fan of watching the coloring, so I went ahead and left it in and I've just sped it up. Now this bear on the left hand side, it's going to be a little bit lighter than the bear on the right hand side with the hat. So I've just started out with one lighter Copic marker and then I am going to work with the same color family on the other bear, but I'm gonna take it one shade darker. So I started with an E30 on the lighter bear and I started with an E31 on the darker bear. And I'm really just keeping the coloring simple. I'm starting out with my lightest marker. I'm adding my darkest in the deepest, darkest, shadowy places. I'm blending out with the medium and then going over all of that with the lightest marker again. Now for the scarf, I'm using R01, R05, and R08. So I've added the R01 in the darkest areas. That's going to keep my lightest areas the lightest because I haven't put a complete wash of color over the entire scarf. And just where I've added that lightest marker, I'm going in with my darkest marker. Then I'm going to come in with the R05, which is my medium shade, and I'm gonna blend out that darkest marker. Now, because there is such a big gap between the R01 and the R05, I'm gonna do a little tip to tip blending. So I'm gonna take my R01 and I'm gonna touch the tip of that marker to the R05 and I'm gonna blend that out. And that's just gonna create a better transition between the R01 and the R05 marker. And then I'll just blend over the entire thing with the R01 on its own. So once I have these elements ready, I'm gonna start choosing some pattern papers. And I've started out with this red kind of chevron 
sweater kind of pattern here and I'm cutting a large strip of that. I am then taking this and I'm kind of butting this up against some different patterns within this pattern paper pad. Because that large red chevron is a large scale pattern paper, I wanna make sure that the next pattern paper that I choose is a little bit smaller in scale. So when you're looking at choosing your pattern papers, you kind of wanna mix up the scale as well as the patterns. So these two pattern papers are different in scale. One's a large scale and one's a medium to small scale. And they're also completely different patterns. I didn't choose two chevrons. I didn't choose two stripes or two polka dots. A lot of times, even if the scales are different, if you try to mix patterns that are too similar, they'll often fight with each other on the card. Now the other thing I wanna mention is that when you choose pattern papers that are within a collection, you know that the colors are gonna to work together because they're designed by a professional designer to work together. So I have a lot of red in that chevron, but it's also picked up in that smaller scale pattern paper that I use that has the candy canes and the greenery and all of that. So I know that those tones of red are going to work well together because they come from within the same collection. They're not gonna fight each other. Now you can see I also have this little label that I'm attaching here. That works well because it came from within that collection. I don't have some funky tone of red that's kind of fighting my other tones. And for the embellishments, I chose the coordinating enamel dots here. And I'm gonna use some of the different colors that are in that smaller scale pattern paper that I use, and I'm gonna pull them out by adding a little bit of embellishment with those colors. So I have this lighter green and the pink that I'm kind of pulling out from that pattern paper with my accents here. Now, once I have these all adhered onto my card, I am going to attach this card front to a card base using some foam adhesive. And I'm gonna add some details here. I added a little bit of crystal glaze over that heart that's above the two bears. And I'm also using a liquid applique pen here. And I'm just filling in those snowflakes that are, or I guess they could be stars, but for me, they're snow. <laughs> and I'm filling those in. And then I allowed that to dry for several hours. And I'm taking my heat tool and I'm adding it in small bursts. And when you do that, that liquid applique puffs up and gives a ton of dimension. It is such a fun accent to your winter cards. It also works great for like fur on Santa hats as well. It's just a really fun way to finish off your cards. Now I completed this one card. It came together so quick and easy because those pattern papers add a lot of oomph to a very simple design. And I went ahead and created a second card featuring pattern paper from the Holiday Vibe 6x6 pattern paper pad. And I'll be sharing more about that card over in the coordinating blog post. I'm gonna share a couple more tips about how I chose those pattern papers to kind of work together. As always, I will have links to the featured supplies in the description at YouTube. So be sure to check that out if you're looking for anything specific. And here's a little sneak at that other card that I created using just pattern paper, pretty much. As always, thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed these projects. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any future card making and paper crafting video tutorials. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the very end. You know if you've made it this far, you are one of my favorites. <laughs> if you want to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and click the button on the left side of the screen. And here's a couple more video tutorials I thought you might enjoy.